Hey, what's up? This is Chris from the from the stumbling longest way. Day three in Turkmenistan, and man, it hurts. <laughs> oh man, my feet hurt. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I got blisters uh, on the front of my feet, on the heel. Yeah. So uh, we camped last night. It was very nice, very luxurious. my guide and my driver they had set up uh, a dinner table with a little lamp and they made a sort of soup a stew of potatoes and tomatoes that was very good um, but I was out of my mind I was so done for uh, and the police showed up and then they showed up again so it wasn't really that good of a night they weren't bad or anything it was just uh, all the noise and my guide had to explain everything let's hope they they won't come tonight. Oh man. See blister pain, you can kind of outwalk it. Where you uh, just kind of keep walking and it hurts and you keep walking and at some point it doesn't really hurt that much anymore. But the problem is then your, your muscles hurt you know, just because you get tired. So you want to sit down and stretch them a little and just kind of relax. And then your blisters start hurting again. So it's really like either the, the one or the other. Uh, it's just horrible. And this is only day three. Damn, what did I get myself into here? Uh. I'm going to try to move around a little sometimes and turn because the stupid Osmo it'll lose the horizon, the calibration but apparently if you turn around it gets better or something piece of shit Check it on the phone. Ah, uh, see what the fuck? Like we're we've been walking for what four minutes and the fucking thing is, and now it's tilting to the other side. Ah, uh, it'd be fine if I walk in that direction, huh? Fucking thing. So, so now it's good again. What the fuck, idiots? Fucking DJI idiots. Oh, we're making drones. Oh, we get the drone market cornered. Oh, we're the Mercedes Benz of motherfucking drones. Idiots. And then people like, they're like, you're not supposed to use the Osmo like that. You're supposed to film uh, I don't know what the fuck they're filming with it. Maybe like 10 seconds of like a uh, sort of dolly shot. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh yeah, and I didn't see any scorpions and no spiders and no snakes. So that was sort of disappointing, but also, also nice. I'm going to say that. Our driver, he uh, opted against the tent and just slept outside on a, on a sort of blanket and mattress thingy. And our guide uh, said he would never do that because uh, spiders and snakes and scorpions are poisonous and lethal. <laughs> but the driver said they know when you're scared and then they come for you. So if you're not scared, then it won't come. And he's not scared, obviously. But I am. And my guide is too, so we're in the tents much better and I heard something at night a little rustling sound next to my tent just next to my head actually I was like can a scorpion pierce through the tent wall huh <laughs> yeah we don't have scorpions where I'm from and really like a spider won't bite where I'm from you don't really have any snakes where I'm from. It's like Europe is the most boring place when it comes to natural calamities and dangerous animals. Germany had a bear like, I don't know, 10 years ago? One. And that bear had come in from Italy and kind of wandered through Austria and then into German territory. And then the Germans, you know, or we, the Germans, we kind of noticed and we we're like, oh wow, we got a bear. We have a bear. So we called him Bruno. And the media were all over Bruno. And politicians were all over Bruno. Like uh, a brown bear. Is it safe to have a brown bear? You know, and, and then Bruno, I don't know why, but he got kind of feisty. And he kind of ventured ever closer to people. Started, I guess, digging through trash or molesting chicken. I don't know. Let me check the horizon here again. Woo! Ah, now it's tilted again, my motherfucker. It's a piece of shit, really. It's just a piece of shit. Anybody telling you that the Osmo is not a piece of shit is fucking lying to you. Like, what the fuck? You can't even f hold a fucking horizon. Excuse my language here. Fucking piece of shit. You know, my, my cameras, the regular DSLRs, they have a horizon. You know, you can just... Uh, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Anyway. So we got this Bruno and he ventures closer to where people live. You know, he's a social bear, I guess. And they shot him. <laughs> they called him a problem bear and they shot him. Terrible. So everybody was very sad. And apart from that, I don't know, we have like a pack or I don't know, like 10 wolves or something somewhere in the, in the forest. No other bears that are known of. We really don't get uh, volcanoes that much or earthquakes. It's like, I mean, yeah, of course, sometimes you get an earthquake, but uh, they're not as frequent and not as terrible usually as, uh, say, earthquakes uh, in other parts of the world. Okay, Italy has uh, the Vesuvio and the Etna. So I guess they, we got volcanoes, but like Germany, nothing, nothing. Sometimes they go to flood, river kind of floods, that's it. No tornadoes really, like if there's ever a tornado, it's like small and uh, all over the news. And everyone's like, wow, this barn got destroyed or something. <laughs> Yeah, so for a German, the world is a, an amazing place. 
when there are snakes and spiders and scorpions and earthquakes. Did I tell you I had an earthquake when I was at Issacol? <laughs> I wake up at like five in the morning and that was the time I was really sick, you know? I had the flu, so I couldn't really sleep. And then at five in the morning, I'm like, ooh, that's a bad flu. I'm like shaking in bed. Like everything is shaking. And, uh, and then it kind of stopped and I was like, okay, well, that's weird. And uh, I tried to go back to sleep. And like in, in the morning, uh, somebody from Almaty sent me a message and I was like, wow, that was a big quake. <laughs> so it was an earthquake, it wasn't me. Ah, okay, so the Osmo is going to stop recording now again. Or rather, split the file into two files or whatever. It's a piece of crap. I should make a website or like walk against the Osmo. Walk against DJI, how's that? Like a foundation and people can uh, donate. And then we make shirts and we make little red hats where, I don't know, well, it could be on that red hat. Make, make the Osmo not suck or give us a decent gimbal idiots something like that <laughs> but then actually what I was gonna do and this has been a dream for a long time I was gonna walk against Bono you know Bono of U2 I was just gonna dedicate the walk against Bono because he's a jerk you know running around first of all the music is shitty that's like uh, you know that's like the main point this is shitty music if you like it I'm happy for you I'm not gonna think less of you it's taste I don't like it we can still be friends and you know let's be honest it's better to like stuff than to not like stuff if you like Bono's music that's fine I'm happy for you I hate it. It's just, it's just so weak, so deprived of any motivation, any emotion. It's just hollow. It's generic. It's just whiny. It's self-indulgent. It's, uh, it's just rock, you know, like rock, stadium rock. It's just, it's just terrible. But then, you know, a lot of bands suck. But no, Bono, he, uh... Hey, haven't we talked about this stuff before on uh, Let's Walk? I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's uh, redundant. But anyway, so like the dude goes around and he's like, Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. You know, I'm going to tell everybody what to do. I'm going to make a red foundation thingy where like you, you're supposed to buy shit from like I don't know Microsoft or something and then some donations gonna be made I'm like dude just fucking donate you know it's always the same it's always like hey uh, I have like a million billion and uh, now because I have this million billion I want you to donate for like a good cause in my name or whatever and I'm like dude man if you have a million billion, just, you know, donate the fucking million billion. <laughs> and shut up about it. You know, what about Christian values, you know? Kind of do good and, and shut the fuck up. But no, Bono. And then he has his blue shades. I mean, come on. And, 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 you know, like the blue shades are, you can buy them and they're like the special... Ah, the cops. They're like the special Bono design edition or whatever. And they're like expensive. Because fucking Bono touched him or whatever. Ah. Who wears shades indoors? You know? It's like you can never see a picture of Bono without his stupid shades. Are they like reading glasses that are colored? I don't know. I'm thinking he's just a dick. <laughs> I don't like it when people wear shades. It's like you're, 
you like if you're if you wear shades indoors i basically suspect you of being a cocaine addict <laughs> uh okay well maybe not everybody who's wearing shades indoors is an asshole but or like a cocaine addict maybe not even every cocaine addict is an asshole but but anyway and then you know like this dude with his million billion and his stupid stadium rock making band he uh he doesn't really pay his taxes properly you know it's like there's like this big scheme where the band makes like this shit ton of money and then they kind of funnel the money here and there and then in the end they don't pay taxes so i'm like dude like what happened to all this philanthropy like ooh, i'm a good guy everybody please donate you know and i'm not saying that donating is bad and i'm not saying the cause is bad you know it's damn right to call attention to the plight of people in, in in poor places but how about you pay your taxes first you know like countries that are trying to build maintain roads bridges schools music schools hospitals and you're like no nah. i have a million billion and i'm gonna hang out with george w bush now yeah nah fucker <laughs> But anyway, if you like, if you like him, I'm happy for you. Like, honestly, I think it's nice to like, and it's bad not to like. I, I like Dolly, but I'm sure he was a, uh, maybe, maybe asshole would, uh, would be uh, a little harsh, but he was a complicated character, you know, kind of, eccentric i like bukowski he was definitely an asshole you know you watch like the the interview videos where he's drunk and he fights with his i don't know girlfriend and you're like man that guy is a dick but i like his you know his his work And then you never know. Maybe, maybe Bono, maybe Bono is uh, like in his private time. Maybe he, I don't know, listens to Sick of It All classics and uh, watches Ash vs. Evil Dead. And maybe he's, I don't know, secretly donated a shit ton of his million billion. And maybe all that tax thing is just. I don't know, like some kind of hype and they really did pay their taxes and and maybe, you know, maybe he hates that boring music that he plays. So maybe he's a cool guy. <laughs> and maybe he has like a an eye condition where he needs the shades. Who knows? So yeah. <sighs> I think it's my feet talking here. There's been so many cuss words in this one. I'm just hurting. Oh, I think I'm, my feet are talking to you and they're like, fuck. Oh, and I think they hate me too. They hate Chris. They're like, Chris, we are made for swimming and lounging and uh, the occasional little walk, but we're not made for this. You're an asshole for not asking us and then taking us out here with your, ooh, I got 15 days to Turkmenistan. I'm so happy. Yeah, we're not happy. Where are your feet? <laughs> Maybe I'm their personal Bono. Maybe my feet are registering a domain as we speak and it's called I hate Chris. No, we hate Chris, they're two feet. We hate Chris. 
Okay. Uh, let's let's check out the horizon. I turned around. I can. <laughs> two minutes ago. Let's see. How about the horizon? Oh, it's good. So, no, no, it's not good. Of course, it's not good. Uh, that, that. <laughs> There's a caboose. Oh. Okay, and I got an apple in there, so I'm gonna have that apple now. And I'll drink some water. Let's see. It's uh, 10, we got 10 kilometers down today. And I'm gonna keep going. Have a good day. Dudes and dudettes. Oh look, there's a dude. You wanna to talk to the dude? You know, we're like 22 minutes anyway. <laughs> Might as well talk to the dude. Or maybe he doesn't want to talk to us, but Turkmen's are really friendly actually. I got like five loaves of bread in uh, two and a half days. Just, you know, people stop their cars and they're like, here, I have this bread. And a bottle of Coke and another bottle of Coke and some water and some bonbons and some waffles and some cookies got all kinds of stuff because people are nice so that's with you yes. Normal. okay so he was a serious type but that's not bad either All right, now, have a good day, dudes and dudettes. And remember, give Bono a chance. Nice guy. <laughs>